Mike, in good luck, she has played 12 games and has amassed in cash and prizes a total of $42,300. How much longer will her winning streak continue? We'll find out in a moment as from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's the new Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Sweet Huntsdale. Good taste, good taste. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Who knows, we may have another $100,000-plus winner in the making. Let's meet her right now. Here's our current champion, Jake. Thank you, Wink. Here's our current champion, who is winning state and cash prizes total $42,300. She works at California State University, where she's responsible for debate. Meet Charlene Hill. Is a university student also who has worked as a hospital orderly and a social worker. Meet Gary Meyer. Hiya, Charlene. Hello. I've kind of gotten accustomed to that name since you've been around here for quite a few days. $42,300. And I think one of the prizes you won in the bonus game as you beat the dragon on the last show was uh, the use of a motor home for about a week or so. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Do you and your family, I know you have children, are they above the age of going on a nice camping trip for a week? Oh, no. It's just that they can get off work to go. Yeah, I see. You think you can get your hubby off for a while? Sure. You've won a couple of very nice trips, too, haven't you? Oh, yes. One to Spain and one to Hawaii. And here I am talking about a camping trip, right? They need that. Charlene, good luck today. Thank you. Gary, let me tell you what Gary had for dinner last night. Gary <laughs> went out to one of the local bistros here and uh, ordered, first off, he ordered uh, a nice steak, and then he also ordered some Harvard beef. <laughs> now, for those of you uninitiated who weren't with us for the last show, that was the answer that... Uh, uh, deprived him of defeating Charlene. Harvard beef. Gary, seriously, have you ever tried those? I'm going to go home and throw out all the beef <laughs> I can find. <laughs> Thought he was going to say throw up. <laughs> Either Here's way. <laughs> all right, let's take a take a look at the board. These are the ca <laughs> these are the categories. I think. Well, look at there, Gary. Food, men of ideas, art. World War II, Washington, D.C., Faces, Animal Songs, Basketball, and Plays. When the game was interrupted on the last show, this is what the board looked like in X's and O's. Two X's, three O's up there. Let's move the categories around now. In the pot, $1,100. And Charlene, our champion, always goes first. Faces. Faces it is. And here's the first question in this show. Faces. Take a look at this picture, Charlene. This is a famous Australian-born singer and actress. Name her. Olivia Newton-John. Right. Lovely lady, great challenge. So we put it up there. Thirteen hundred dollars in the pot now. And three boxes remain on the board. Gary, let's see what shows up in those boxes for you to select from. Here they are as we shuffle. We see on the board men of ideas, art, and plays. Gary, what's going to be? Let's try men of ideas in the upper center. Men of ideas. You're going for a block on the subject men of ideas. Gary, although it was invented in China around 1100 A.D. It was over 400 years before explorers used it to plot their courses to distant land for a block. Name it. Compass? Right, the magnetic compass. <laughs> so you blocked it with that. Put an O there. $1,500 in the box. Charlene, for you, we have two subjects to select from. Two boxes. Let's see what those subjects are going to be as we shuffle. We see food and faces. Charlene. Foods for the block. All right, you can block Gary with the answer to this question on food. If you answer it correctly, not only would you block him, we would have a tie game. So listen carefully. The aromatic bark of the cassia tree gives us a reddish brown spice, which is added to desserts and hot drinks. For a tie game, name it. Cinnamon. Yes, we have a tie. Up there where the food is, we see an X now, and that means a tie game because you block Gary, and we have $1,700 in the pot. $1,700. bucks. we are going to take a commercial timeout now. We'll come back and introduce nine new categories, and the pot will continue to grow with every correct answer. We'll be right back. There's so much up. time, as you know, you beat five opponents. You win a very special prize. It has four wheels on it. If you defeat three more opponents, you're going to win a second prize. Jay, what is it? It's a brand new car! Oh. New Skyhawk, a compact, even-firing V6 engine for smooth economical power over all sports.
Sporting Styling and Comfort, the Skyhawks. However, I got to tell you, Gary has designs on a nice automobile, too. And he hasn't yet won his first game, but he has designs on winning this one. Let's see what it's going to be as we get into your second game between you two. The subject of television cops, take a letter, Japan, famous buildings, Indians, potluck pictures, comic strips, general science, and female singers. $1,700 in the pot as we begin the game two between you two. Charlene. Let's go with TV cops. All right, television cops. The question is this. In the television series Barney Miller, this actor stars as a police captain who supervises an unusual group of detectives. Name the actor. Lindsay. Hal Lindsay. No, it's Hal Linden. Uh. Hal Linden. All right, let's move the categories and see what comes up for Gary, what he likes. Still $1,700 in the pot. Gary? Let's try TV Cops again in the upper right. All right, again in that category. This famous film star portrayed Frank Ballinger on the television series M Squad. Was he Steve McQueen, Lee Marvin, or Charles Bronson? He was Lee Marvin. Yes, Lee Marvin is right. Let's go to know there. Let's shuffle the categories around. $200. The for $1,900. Charlene, second pick. Back to defense in the center for take a letter. Take a letter. Defensively in the center, we're $300 to the pot. Your letter is B. B. I'll describe two popular games beginning with the letter B, and you name them. First, the dice game, which uses the terms doubling and on the bar. Two, the outdoor game, which uses a high net and a shuttlecock. Here's your extra time. <laughs> Again, the letters B, I'll describe two popular games beginning with B, you name them. First, the dice game which uses the terms doubling and on the bar. Let's go to the second one first. All right, back to the second one. The outdoor game which uses a high net and a shuttlecock. It's badminton. Badminton is right. Would you like to go back to the first? Well, I guess we're going to have to. The dice game which uses the terms doubling and on the bar. I'm drawing a complete blank and I know it. Audience. Backgammon. Ah. Backgammon. B, backgammon. All right. Let's move the categories around again. In the pot, still $1,900. Gary? Let's try take a letter. All right, take a letter. Category, question. Your letter is D, D. The name of this fruit comes from a Latin word for finger. Name it. Date. Yes, date is correct. D-A-T-E. So we put it over there and shuffle the categories around again. We passed the two marks in the pot now, $2,100. Charlene? Ooh, general science, and I'm terrible at it in, uh, for a block. Now, tell yourself you're great at it, Charlene. Okay. All right. In chemistry, a type of dyed paper is used to detect the presence of acids and bases. For a, a block, name this paper. Litmus. Yes, litmus paper. Good for a block. Put it up there. Let's jump in the categories again. $2,300, Gary. Let's try potluck picks in the center. In the center, we're at $300, and I'll give you a little extra time. Take a look at this picture, Gary. It shows actors Ted Knight and Gavin McLeod as newsmen for WJM-TV in Minneapolis, St. Paul. First, in which TV series were they featured? And then two, name the character played by McLeod. Here's your extra time. <laughs> People are Ted Knight and Gavin McLeod in real life. In which television series were they featured, Gary? Mary Tyler Moore Show. Right. Name the character that McLeod played. Murray Slaughter. Right. Good for the center box. Very good. Going for the big old there, and let's move the categories around. Quick shuffle now. Three hundred dollars added to the pot takes our total up to two thousand six hundred dollars. Charlene, we're ready for you. Japan for the block one way. All right. For a block diagonally, Charlene. The Imperial Hotel in Japan, which was designed by one of America's most famous architects, was so well constructed that it survived a devastating earthquake. For Block, name its architect. Frank Lloyd Wright. Yes, for a block. Very good. So an next stage in that position. We have four boxes remaining on the board. In the pot, we have $2,800. Let's shuffle Gary and see what comes up that you like particularly well. There they are. Looks like take a letter in the lower right. If you answer the question on take a letter, You'll become our new champion, and you'll have $3,000. Gary, your letter is M. M. This word for a certain real estate contract is derived from the French phrase, which means death pledge. For $3,000, 
Name this word. Mortgage. Yes, for $3,000. University student Gary Myers becomes our new champion, and the show for that three big one, three thousand dollars. Gary, how you feeling about this now? I feel just terrific. It took a while. It took a couple of games, but you finally defeated Charlene, and you have three thousand dollars, as I said, to show for it, with the right to try to beat the dragon in just a second. So your second visit on Tic Tac Toe turned out to be a very profitable one. Charlene. How are you, my dear? Oh, how can I feel bad? Oh, it's just been wonderful. I was going to say, when, and I've said this before, I'm sure, but uh, when somebody wins that much on Tic Tac Toe or any game show, by golly, you've got to feel pretty good about that. Oh, absolutely. Because as, um, as Brian Donovan, who is our all-time money winner, said when he finally lost at $148,800, he said, you know, you've got to lose sooner or later. You know what's going to happen. It's a matter of when. And you leave us with 42300 Of that, quite a bit is cash. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea what you're going to do with some of that money? Right now, I'm going to have to get used to the fact it's real, and then I'll have to decide what I'm going you to do. You might just sit it. down at the kitchen table and just start counting it out, right? Well, some of it will go for books and tuition. But, Charlene, good luck to you. You have become our all-time female money winner with a total of $42,300. I would be extremely proud of myself, and I know we're proud of you, and I know your husband, Ed, is, too. Thank, Thank you. you for being with us. Thank you. Charlene Hill, our all-time female money winner. We'll be right back to see if Gary can beat the big dragon on the board right after this. You know, there are a lot of good things that come with growing older. And having... Now we're going right to the board with Gary to see if he can beat the dragon. Come on over. Okay, Gary, here we go. I know you know how this works, but I'll explain. Uh, we sometimes have new people tuning in, so these numbers are various amounts of money. Actually, that's what they mean. And there's a dragon up here. All you have to do is get $1,000 or more, and Jay's going to tell you what you win. Listen. Jerry, it's Tic Tac Toe's Outdoor Fun Package. First, you'll have plenty of ups and downs on this trampoline. With unique round design for safe outdoor fun and recreation, ideal for physical fitness with features such as uniform bounce and larger jumping area, furnished by round trampoline. And you'll be a real handyman around the house with Toro's assortment of outdoor appliances featuring a powerful 10-inch electric chainsaw, balanced for complete operator control by Toro. And next, you'll be great on the greens with balding executive golf clubs. Executives can give you higher, straighter, more consistent shots because they're just easy to hit. Available in men's and ladies' models. And entertain outdoors with this patio furniture. For your outdoor dining pleasure is Hancock's California Country Redwood Furniture. Featuring high-style contemporary lines, comfortable armchairs, and Hancock's weather-resistant climate guard umbrella. And finally, Gary, you'll enjoy hours of outdoor fun and adventure with your very own sailboat. Dark Swim Sailor Sailboat, a personal sailor for the beginner. One of the safest boats made, lightweight and easily handled. Swim Sailor, furnished by Snark Products Incorporated. And Gary's a fabulous fun package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,550. Okay, we're going to cover everything up on the board now and move them all around. We'll do nine numbers here, as you know, and you'll pick them. Get tick and tack, you automatically get the dough. Gary, where would you like to start? Let's start in the middle with number five. Number five in the center box. Let's take a look behind that big five and see what it holds for you, Gary. It's six to go with that, and you got it. All you need is to talk to add to that. You have a wife in the audience. I think it's a beautiful young lady in the red. She's the one. What's her name? Debbie. Hi, right, Debbie. What number do you think you ought to continue with? Number three, what do you think about that? Number three sounds Never good. Never argue with her, right? Number three, what do we find behind number three for Debbie and Gary? $500. The way she's selected, you better stick with her. You're doing all right. What do you want this time? Five, six, seven, eight. Where are you going with that? She says eight. Let's try eight. All right, she got 500 for that three. Let's see what she can come up with that eight. Let's look behind number eight. 100 more dollars. You got 600. Now, do you want to stop and take that six going the next call to be the bracket, or do you want to continue? What does she say? Debbie says one. Let's try so one. So obviously you want to continue, all right? You need $400 or tack to go with tick. What's behind number one? Take a look. Do we like it? Yeah. 300. Takes us to nine. You got 900. Do you want to stop there or do you want to continue? $100 or tack. What do you think? you want to stop? She says quick. What do you think? 
Oh, I know if I go and I miss, I'm not going to get home tonight. So I think we better stop. She says stop, so you're going to stop. You're going to stick with it. All right, now let me just ask you this. If you had gone ahead, if you said no, I'm not going to listen to her because I know that the number I'm going to call out right now, there's no way the dragon's going to be behind it. What number would you have called out? I think we'd have gone with four. Okay, you got your $900 already. You've stopped, but let's look behind number four, see what was there, if indeed you had called it out. Would you have been a winner? Yeah. Would you like to go back and play it again, Gary? Can't do that. Game don't work that way. Boss fire. Winky wink do that. Two, six, seven, and nine. Let's look behind those. Where was the dragon on the board? Up there behind Little Deuce, number two. Yeah, all the rest of the people in the audience. That's the one I was going to call out, number two. They're smarter than I am. Well, let's uh, total everything up for you now. In cash and merchandise, in addition to the $3,000 you want in playing the game, you have a grand total of $3,900. It's all money. All money. Let's play another game, okay? Go over there, Jay. Okay, Jay, who's that? Coming up now, we an English teacher who has recently moved to California. I'd like you to meet Happy Wolf. Kathy? Hello. Lovely lady. How are you? You just moved to California. Where were you living? I was living in Tennessee. My family's from Tennessee. Did you know that? Sure did. How come you know that? Well, back in Tennessee, those Martindales are just as thick as thieves. Actually, I was born somewhere in Alaska, if you want to know the truth of it. <laughs> Let's look at the board and see what's Kathy welcome. Gary, Thanks. here are the subjects you're going to be dealing with. Our subjects are opera, men of the sea, bios, famous first, George's foreign words, the odd ones, Beatlemania, and fads and follies. Gary is our champion. That sounds good, doesn't it? You go first. Let's start right in the middle with George's. George's in the center. It's worth $300, as you know. A little harder. I'll describe two famous military George's, and you name them. One, he was a World War II tank commander who led the Third Army across Europe. Second George, he became the youngest general in the Union Army, but he died with all of his men in the Indian Wars. Here's your extra time to think about that. Gary, you got to name two famous military Georges. The one, he was a World War II tank commander who led the Third Army across Europe. That was George Patton. Right. This one became the youngest general in the Union Army, but he died with all of his men in the Indian War. That was George Armstrong Custer. Right. That's a good start to center box. Let's move the categories around. Put it up there. $300 in the box. Kathy? I'll try foreign words, the lower right-hand corner. Foreign words, the category. Take a look at this foreign word first, Kathy. This is something most adults try to avoid. What does it mean? Dumbness. <laughs> no, uh, candy. It means candy. Sweet, soft toffee, candy. So let's move the categories again. One X in the center box remaining. 300 in the pot. Gary, see if you can add to it. Well, George's was good last time. Let's try it again. All right, second right. time. For George's, this television star, who's still popular today, gained fame in the 50s with expressions like, well, I'll be a dirty bird. His nickname is Lonesome George. Name him. Got to be George Goble. Got to be, if you're right, George Goble. So he's putting that there. Let's shuffle him around. Now we have $500 in your pocket. Kathy, looking for your first O. What subject would you like? Lower left-hand corner for a block, fads and follies. All right, for a block, fads and follies. During the first year, this word game was on the market. It sold over a million sets. It had addicts going for triple word and double letter scores in French, German, and Hebrew, as well as English. For a block, name the game. Gravel. Yes, gravel is the game. Big fad. A few years ago. Put it over there for a block. Let's move the categories around. $700 in the pot. And, Gary, we're back to you. Try Famous Firsts in the upper left. All right, Famous Firsts. The famous Scopes Monkey Trial was held in the first state to pass a law banning the teaching of evolution. Name the state. Tennessee. Right, Kathy's old state, Tennessee. Let's move the categories around. One up on the board, $900 to pot. Kathy? <laughs> now we're shuffled and ready. I'll try Gary's category, George's, the lower right to block. All right, for a block on George's. This Irish-born dramatist named George wrote such dramas as Pygmalion, St. Joan, and Major Barbara. For a block, name him. George Bernard Shaw. Yes, good for a block. Let's move the categories around. Quick shuffle. $1,100 in the pot. I asked for a shuffle. Let's do it. <laughs> Gary. Oh, dear. Hurry, Gary. I think I'll block with Famous First. Famous First for a block. Here's your question, Gary. For the first time in over 2,500 years, this country was without a monarch in 1979 when its ruler was forced to flee the country. For a block, name this Middle Eastern country. Iran. Yes, that's good for a block. 
Okay, let's move the categories around again. In the pot, we have $1,300. Kathy? I'll try George's for a two-way block. All right, two-way block. They don't come up too often, but you can do it with this one. As Secretary of State, George Marshall designed a post-war European recovery plan, which bore his name for a block. Who appointed him to this post? Could you repeat the question? Please? Yeah, as Secretary of State, George Marshall designed a post-war European recovery plan, which bore his name. Who appointed him to his post for a block? I'll take a stab at it, Roosevelt. No, Harry Truman. Harry Truman. We're going to take a commercial time out. We'll be right back with more. Of this it takes so little. Complete the game between Gary and Kathy. Thank you for being with us. Wink Martindale. Bye-bye. All of our departing contestants will receive the home game version of the new Tic-Tac-Toe. This is much fun playing it as watching it on TV. In addition, some of our departing contestants will receive on a ham of baking soda. When was the last time you changed it to keep your refrigerator fresh and clean? Plus, 20 mule power industrial strength bathroom cleaner used weekly. It wipes out soap, scum, hard water, scale, and black mildew stains in the bathroom, kitchen, and laundry room. Plus, North Cross Pacific comes Hawaii Tropics. Natural tanning lotions and oils. Hawaiian Tropics have been broken up the tent of the island. Hawaiian Tropics. And Nesty Ice Tea, one of the pure tea with fruit tea flavor that refreshes all year round. Anytime's a good time to take the Nesty plunge. Plus, wrappers mix and match casual shirts and fashion jeans. Go together colorful denims from wrappers. And the great refinishing team, Zip Strip paint, varnish, and stain remover, and Zip Guard clear urethane wood finish for that professional look. Jack Berry and Dan Enright Productions.